Hiya, and welcome to the Groovy Sleep Train. Today I'm going to be talking in my normal voice, which might sound a little bit weird to you, and I'm going to be talking about what the fuck is ASMR. The reason I'm making this video today is uh, for a few things. Firstly, I want to help people who might be out there searching what is ASMR or what the fuck is ASMR on YouTube or the internet. Also, I want to let people on my channel who subscribe know the reason why I make ASMR videos because I don't think I've really covered that before. And I want to let people know who I meet in real life who then decide to go check out my channel after I tell them about it. I want to make a video on here that explains why I have this ASMR channel so they can watch this and understand that before they decide to judge my channel and ASMR and what I do. And another thing that I'd like each and every one of you out there watching this, subscribe to my channel to do, is to tell at least one person about ASMR and what it means to you. You can be as detailed or as vague as you like. You can tell someone who you've just met or somebody who you've known for years about it. I don't mind. I just want you out there to help spread the word as well because it's something that I think we are very shy about. Everybody who experiences ASMR. I mean, obviously that's not the... That's not going to be everyone, but I think the majority of us are kind of shy about what this is, this thing that we experience, and these videos we watch every day, every night to help us fall asleep. And I really think we need to start spreading the word that this is not a weird thing, and this is also not a sexual thing. So what is ASMR to me? The way I describe it whenever anybody asks and whenever I'm telling somebody about it or explaining what my channel is uh normally I open with yeah I have a channel on YouTube oh what's your channel on YouTube oh it's a relaxation channel oh relaxation channel what, what what's that about and then normally I start with I create soundscapes and meditations for people to help them relax and to fall asleep um it's very good for de-stress de-stressing and relaxing and for people who might have insomnia or any other kind of sleeping sleeping issues. And then normally some people are kind of like asking more questions or a bit more interested by that point. And then I'll say, yeah, it's something called ASMR. They either know what that means or they don't. But either way, if they know what that means or they don't, I still answer it in a very similar way, which is, um, yeah, it's like a feeling of euphoria, but in a deep and relaxing way and not in a sort of upbeat way um, and it's triggered by different everyday sounds or visuals such as you know the sounds of paper the sounds of uh, scissors cutting hair um, also certain environments where you feel comfortable like if you're at the doctor or getting your hair cut or at the opticians um, in a spa People also recreate these sort of environments um, to tap in to this, you know, very specific form of relaxation. And that, in a nutshell, is how I describe it. The reason I make ASMR videos um, is a lot of different reasons, to be honest. Firstly, when I first started my channel, I was at a point in my life where uh, I had a lot of time on my hands and I was really quite... Um, anxious and feeling depressed and ASMR was really something that was helping me get through that and watching videos on YouTube was something that was really helping me get through that so I decided I was going to start one myself um, and it really helped me you know just being productive again having something to do and feeling like I was making a positive impact even if it was only in this very, very small way to, you know, a couple of people who was watching my channel. Another reason I make the videos is I do really like helping people. It not only helps me, but it helps, I hope, I like to think that it helps the people who watch it. Um, and I really enjoy, you know, being able to do something to, to help people um, with their mental health. Um, mental health is still something that is, I believe, uh, misunderstood in society people still don't talk about it as, as much as as we should to be able to make a small impact on that in people's lives is really amazing another reason I make 
videos is because uh, some of you might know I'm an actor. I've mentioned it a few times, but I'm an actor and this is a really nice thing to do is just to sit down in front of a camera and talk or create something. Um, and the role plays are really good for that because essentially doing a role play is acting. Um, so it's, it's really nice for that. I get to exercise that creative part of myself as well as the sort of film production part of my a part of myself um, so those two things you know uh get get used at the same time the next question is is it a sexual thing and if you're watching this right now and you experience ASMR then you will know that the answer to this is no it is not a sexual thing it's not a sexual thing at all unfortunately there's not enough science to describe what it actually is um, and I think that would really help us when we're explaining ASMR to people who haven't heard of it before. If there was some serious science and some facts that we could use to back it up. But unfortunately, at this moment in time, there isn't that. And all we can really say is that, no, it's not a sexual thing. It really isn't. On my channel, that is not something that I try and encourage or pander to in any way whatsoever. There are ASMR channels out there which, in my personal opinion, I feel that maybe they do uh, tap into the fact that some people might be watching it and feeling a response to it in that way. And they may be, in a way, sort of playing up to that in order to get views. Um, you know, that, in my personal opinion, I think there may be some people out there who do that. Um, however, that is not something that I do or seek to do on this channel in any way. I mean, even videos that I've noticed have been construed as uh, if I was trying to do something sexual, such as the ice cream eating video that I made. Um, I never made that with the intention of it being sexual. Um, eating is a massive trigger for a lot of people out there. It's not one of mine personally, but it's a very easy one for me to shoot at home. Um, and I get to eat at the same time, which is something that I love to do. There were weird comments on that video, but you know what, this is YouTube. And the reality is no matter what content you make, there's gonna be some fucking weird comments because that's just the kind of place that this is. It, it, it doesn't mean that what I was trying to create was trying to be a sexual stimulus. Um, because people choose to take it in that way or look at it and judge it on its face value that they think it is. So I hope that was informative or at least gives you an idea of why I make videos and why I do what I do here on YouTube and hopefully you guys will take something from this and really I ask each and every one of you to tell someone in your life about ASMR and that you experience it. Even if you don't experience it and you're watching this video to try and understand it, tell someone about what you've learned, you know, and hopefully the more people we tell and the more it spreads, the less of um, a misunderstanding it's going to be in, in society. That's what I'd really like to achieve. If you tell one person you really enjoy it, bloody tell two people, tell three people, tell as many people as you feel comfortable to do. But at the very, very least, please, for me, tell one person. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll come back next week with a normal ASMR video, but I really felt like I had to put this out there at this moment in time. So take care and I will see you soon.